Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. This is gonna be a good one. Me and Elliot, the sharpshooter, we're over here at the Freedom Compound. Elliot, you wanna tell them what we're doing? Blown up a dam. Watch, watch your language. <laughs> yes, so the one beaver dam, I'm not able to get the excavator to, so Elliot and I brought over an undisclosed amount of tannerite. We're gonna mix it up here and see if we can uh, clear a path to let the water, let the water drain, keep pushing forward with these things. So before we get underway with the beaver dam explosions, uh, Elliot and I were coming over to check some tra trail cameras and put out some crushed apple for the deer. And I found this. One of my trail cameras ripped off the tree on the ground with the antenna broken out and a hole punched in the sensor. So I'm either thinking it was a bear because there was a big pile of bear crap pretty close to this. Um, I don't think it was a person because if it was a person, they were dumb enough to leave the SD card in. So the battery's flashing red. I'm gonna go ahead and change the batteries out and see if we can get some pictures. And if it is a bear, you bet I'm including this in that video, in this video. Okay, so before we start doing this, I would just like to ensure everybody that these be beavers do not live in these dams. They are bank beavers, which means they live in the banks of the creek. The dams are there just to build the water up so they can uh, have some sort of water system to keep all their food in. Um, I've had a bunch of friends come over, take a look at it, and assure me that the beavers are no longer in this area because if they were, this dam here would have been rebuilt by now. Uh, we'd be seeing like branches and trees that were freshly bitten to help repair this. Uh, so these beavers are no longer here. So that means it is safe to go ahead and blow these dams up. Okay, so we're back here. You probably remember seeing this dam if you saw the other uh, dam video. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. Um, so again, there's nothing here being rebuilt. There's no fresh trees chewed down. There's no fresh sticks or anything put back here. So these beavers that built this are no longer here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. And originally, I thought we were going to have to chop away at some of this stuff. But I think I'm just going to be able to pull... Uh, some of these loose top sticks off away far enough just to get some tannerite under there We want to make sure we get it in to the dam so that whenever it detonates it'll actually blow everything up and not just Send the force out through the opening that we put it in. So we're gonna try hitting it in a couple different spots uh, We're gonna use quite a bit of pounds on it Make sure this thing gets blown sky high We got a couple uh, sections cleared, ready for some tannerite, so we're going to go ahead and mix it up.
check it out. Alright, we're going to move all of our equipment back to there. Now again, this is two pounds. We might be up in the poundage here. So as you can see, the two pounds of tannerite really opened it up. I had it tucked underneath here, so it blew a lot of shrapnel and debris up that way. And uh, yeah, really helped to open that up. You can see the water is flowing really nice. And the ice is always a nice indicator because Right there was the old water line, and this ice has already dropped probably three inches or so. So we'll get loaded up, get another spot cleared, and uh, keep, keep blowing this stuff away. Two pounds was good, but now that we're kind of working our way back into the thicker stuff that I hadn't cleared, we're going to go ahead and do four pounds. All right, so this is four pounds.
That was a good one. It blew a nice, a nice big hole right in there. So we're gonna mix up another four pounds, tape it together just like we did, and shove it right back there. And if I can blow this stuff out of there so we have water coming down here, that's gonna help all this drain that much faster. So the problem is, is this would have been nice to grab this with the machine, but number one, obviously this is a lot more fun. Um, but just getting the machine back to here, the field out there where it all, where it was all flooded, that's frozen for like the top four to five inches. Um, once you break through that, it's still pretty mushy and soft below it. So I was just a little concerned about getting our machine back to here to get this. So anything I can do now to help get this water level low so that we can get back to the next one and start chipping away at that. That's going to be uh, that's going to be the end game here. So Elliot was over there. He said, "Steve, we have six pounds left," and I said, "Well, we should probably use it up." So we're hitting it this time with six pounds. That should really open it up. Oh, and by the way, the one video I posted with the t-shirt giveaway, uh, victory is mine. The winner has been selected. So I know uh, I know he emailed me. I'm gonna, I have a t-shirt out to him, so enjoy. But uh, I just wanted to let everybody know that I did pick a winner. There will be more t-shirt giveaways coming up. So tell your friends, tell your family about this channel. We'll keep it growing and get a bunch of t-shirts out there. Alright Elliot, you're a math whiz. So two pounds of tannerite is fun. Four pounds of tannerite should be double the fun. Right. What's six pounds of tannerite? Triple. <laughs> you can teach math here at Gunpowder and Freedom.
So six pounds of tannerite really opened this up. I'm gonna grab that big log and all this is gonna drain real nice. Man, do I love America. What do you think, Elliot? <laughs> so I loosened up a lot of this debris that was collecting here and again down here. Um, and the water level is dropping fast enough that that's just, you know, it's more sticks and stuff that are just getting lower. So I'm fine with this, letting this drain down real good. Uh, we'll see if we can walk up and see the next dam. So after fighting all the uh, crap brush behind me, all the jagger bushes and everything, we found the next dam right there. That's going to be fun to get to probably three feet tall and uh, I can definitely see we still have there's some ice over there there's a little bit uh, more ice and water stuff out there so I'm willing to bet that whenever we get heavy rains and stuff this water comes right across here around all this stuff and floods all this so we definitely need to get this one out too so that's uh that's the next next objective but as you can see behind me that's what we have to fight through to get to it all right guys that's going to do it for us here at gunpowder and freedom uh, me and elliot had a pretty productive morning we checked on the one trail camera and hopefully i'm going to go home and see the sd card and see it was just a bear and not somebody messing with my camera uh, that'd kind of be a bummer if it was somebody uh, an actual person hoping hoping it was a bear uh, but then me and Elliot went and blew up a beaver dam and got some more water draining. I walked back and found the next dam and that one's going to be a fight to get to. So that one might be getting the tannerite treatment as well. So only time will tell. We'll see how this dries up and if it'll freeze, if I can get to it with the machine. Um, either way, it'll be fun. So thank you guys very much for tuning in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.